Well, today's video I think is gonna be very, very valuable to you guys out there. Today I'm gonna to take you through a position I am thinking about selling, and I'm gonna take you through an exercise that I love to do when going to sell a position. I kinda of do like a bear versus bull debate, um, kinda of like the, the bearish points on this stock, the bullish points in this stock and whatnot. Um, it's a stock I have some pretty monster profits, as you guys heard, monster profits. Um, some of you guys might have figured that out. It's a company named Monster Beverage. Um, we're gonna look at my cost basis on this one, how much money I've made, so far. Um, also, toward the end of the video, I want to take you through uh, kind of like the companies I am thinking about buying with this money if I do decide to sell out. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section if you think I should sell these shares, if you think I should hold them. Um, after we kind of go through the bull and bear debate, I would love to hear from you guys. Also, like if I do sell it, like what company do you think I should put the money in? I would love to hear from you guys. So, Monsters. So, this is in my public account. My public account is available in my stock market membership group. By the way, that group, if you want to join in there, it's half off right now enter code half off at checkout today and you can get half off the price not only this month but every month going forward uh, you have like over 100 private videos in there I post videos Monday Friday so much value it's insane if there's something that interests you get in there there's over a hundred thousand dollars in that account and one of my positions in that account is monster beverage okay um, this is a stock I bought probably a month or two ago a month or two ago and it's already up over 24%, okay? Up over $2,000, and this was on an investment that was only $8,000 investment, so it wasn't like this was some huge investment. So to already be up over 2,000 um, in such a short amount of time, over 24% is pretty awesome, all right? Um, so our cost basis on those shares is $49.30. Um, and so, you know, being up that much in that quick amount of time, um, it kind of makes me at least contemplate maybe I should sell out of these shares, okay? So let's start going through the bull versus bear debate and then I'll kind of tell you guys like what I'm thinking about buying if I do decide to buy some shares, all right? Um, so the bull debate, all right? The bull debate. Um, well, the first thing is uh, international expansion. This is a company that is expanding all over the world right now, all over the world. Any country you could possibly imagine, they are either expanding more products in that country or they exp or are expanding into those countries for the first time. So this is a huge international growth story, all right? Monster, uh, if you, you if you don't know anything about the company, it used to be this little juice company. These guys took it over in the 90s and basically they started the Monster Energy brand in 2002. And ever since then, this company has been an absolute growth beast. One of the top performing stocks literally in the entire world over the past 15 years. Literally one of the top performing stocks in the entire world the past 15 years. Like if you just put a couple thousand dollars in this stock back in the day in 2002, 2003, like you would be a multimillionaire now. It's it's absolutely insane what they've done. But they're, they've been in a America since 2002, all right? Uh, so there might not be nearly as much growth in North America, but internationally, some of these markets they've just entered within the past five years, some of them within the past three years, some of them are just within the past year or two, okay? So they have a lot of international expansion ahead of themselves. That's one of the bullish points in the stock, all right? Uh, the number two thing is product expansion. What do I mean by product expansion? It's one thing to just expand the monster brand in other countries, but also there's a company that is expanding other types of products other than just basic energy energy drinks, all right? They're coming into coffee products, they're coming into water products. Pretty much anything across the board, they're starting to slap a monster name on it. Monster soda products um, and expanding the monster brand and people see it on the shelf and they already know the monster brand and they see it and they're like, oh, I feel like a soda. Maybe I feel like a monster soda. Oh, there's a flavored water. Oh, it's made by monster brand. Maybe I want that. So they're expanding products in a huge way, okay? That's another big thing. Um, the third thing is price expansion, okay? Price expansion. So now, uh, actually this was announced shortly after I got in the stock. So it was good fortune of me getting in the stock and then this ended up coming out. But basically, uh, the CEO came out and said, we're probably going to be raising prices, especially in North America, starting the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year. Price expansion, guess what that means? That means more profits. Any any amount of money, the excuse me, any amount of um, you know increase in price as far as a monster goes, that goes straight to profit, okay? If monster goes up 20 cents a can, it's all straight profit, okay? If they go up 50 cents a can, it's all going straight profit because their cost is already baked in regardless if they sell that can for a dollar, sell that can for two dollars, all right? Um, so that's a huge thing and that could, you know, make EPS go up in a, in a great deal. 
Number four is they are taking market share from every single energy drink maker. They're now the number one energy drink brand in uh, the United States of America, okay? Number one, they overtook Red Bull. Red Bull used to have a dominant market share in every single market out there, and Monster slowly has been chewing away at that market share for the last decade, and now they are at a point where now they have almost half the market share in the United States of America, um, and they are eating into the uh, Red Bull's market share all over the world right now. It's pretty unbelievable what the company has been able to do. So it's not just, oh, their products are probably gonna get more expensive, it means they're probably gonna make more EPS. Not only are they expanding into other countries and whatnot, but they're also taking market share from Red Bull. That's a really big thing there, guys, all right? Um, number five, a great management team. Like, like, oh my gosh, about as good of a management team as you can get. They built this brand from nothing, okay? Uh, a couple, like, you know, uh, a $50 million apple juice business, and they've built it into a company that's worth 30 plus billion dollars, all right? Right? Uh, you know, a 50, a $50 million apple juice business, and you know, uh, 15, 20 years later, they got a 30 plus billion dollar energy drink giant on their hands, okay? Um, that type of management team, the, the two, you know, kind of co-CEOs and whatnot, they've done such an amazing job with this company. There's nothing but good things to say about it, okay? Um, number six, brand strength. I mean, uh, Monster, I would put Monster right there with uh, Coca-Cola brand, Pepsi brand, Red Bull, you know, Monster's right in with all those. I couldn't necessarily say they're stronger than those brands or they're weaker than those brands, but it's unbelievable how strong the Monster brand is and how you know well recognized the brand is around the world. Um, number seven is scale. So basically, as your company gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you get more scale. You get you get even smarter at doing things because you've experienced things. Um, you get more pricing power on, on some of your suppliers and whatnot for different things. Okay, so as you get bigger and bigger and bigger, you just get more and more scale, and you get to you know uh, you know compete out there in a bigger and bigger way because you're able to compete on pricing more and more. Okay, so that's kind of the bull. That's kind of the bullish stance. All right, that's the bullish stance. But what's the bearish stance on this? Because there ought to be some type of bearish stance. Otherwise, I wouldn't even contemplate selling these shares. Okay. There are definitely some things. So the first one is this is a company that's trading at a 41 trailing PE, a 31 forward PE. That's pretty rich. Okay. It's an energy drink company. All right. Um, you know, we're talking about this is a high forward PE. We're talking about this is uh, a similar forward PE to a company like Intuit. Okay. Um, this is a higher, way higher forward PE than a company like Facebook, for instance. Facebook right now is trading at a 22 forward PE. We got Monster over here, a, a drink company trading at a 31. So it is definitely a bit rich. Does this company have phenomenal growth? Yes, but still a 31 Ford P, that's kind of rich there, okay? Um, second uh, bearish point is they're reliant on Coca-Cola's dist uh, distribution. So it's phenomenal. They basically Coca-Cola made an investment in them, bought about 18% stake. Um, since then, they've really helped Monster expand around the world, and they're continuing to through the Coca-Cola distribution. All right. Um, the only problem with that is, is they're relying on Coca-Cola's distribution. So any problems that happen with that distribution um, is going to affect Monster. Okay. Um, if Coca-Cola distribution decides they want to go up in a major way, Monster pretty much just has to pay the price in the end because what else are they gonna do? They're gonna have to just pay the price, okay? It's not like they can just switch very easily to some other distribution company. It's a very, very hard thing to do, guys. It's a very, anybody that's worked in uh, retail, convenience store business like I have, um, it's not just so easy that a new distribution company can come in and just take out one. Like it's a big process and then you gotta fix the coolers. It's it's so much and never mind around the world. It's a big, big, it's a big, big undertaking. So um, it's great that they're in the Coca-Cola distribution and expanding around the world, but at the same time, it does put you know Coca-Cola distribution in, a, in a, a position of power. Let's just put it that way, okay? Um, the number three thing is executive age. So I talked about how this is a great management team, okay? Um, unfortunately, both these gentlemen now are in their late 60s, okay? So they're in their late 60s. We don't know how much longer they're gonna to wanna to lead this company, okay? They haven't said anything necessarily about retirement yet, uh, but at the same time, they're in their late 60s. Who knows? Not everybody's gonna be Warren Buffett and still running their company at 87 years old or whatever age he is, okay? Not everybody wants to do that, right? Some people, you know, they wanna retire in their late 60s and just enjoy the rest of their life and enjoy all the wealth they create and whatnot. Some people wanna to continue to run the company. I don't know what, what their plans are, but I can just tell you that at the end of the day, they're getting up there in age, maybe it's possible 
will they want to retire soon? Um, they're such great, uh, you know, CEOs of that company that um, if they did retire, I would take it as a negative. Okay, could they find somebody to probably replace them that does a great job? Probably, but at the same time, um, you know, these guys have just done such a phenomenal job. It would be, it, I would hate to see them go. Uh, number four is commodity prices are hurting their EPS right now. Their profits, commodity prices have been going up and up and up for them. Um, all the commodities this company uses, they're all going up. So uh, they have been hurt by commodity prices. So that's kind of a bear uh, thesis there. And number five is raising prices could hurt sales volume. All right. Um, you know, there's nothing we can know definitively about that. But let's say, uh, let's say Monster goes up 20 cents a can. You know, that's what it basically equates to at 7-Eleven or whatever convenience stores people go to and whatnot, or wherever they buy Monster, the food store or whatever. Okay. Let's say an average Monster can is 20 cents more expensive. Does somebody say, oh man, Monster is 20 cents more expensive. I don't think I'm going to buy that today. I think I'm going to buy another product. That's always a possibility. We don't know. We don't know, you know, specific science around it. If somebody says, you know, sees that there, it, you know, if you have a lot of money, it's no question. You're going to still buy the product if you want the product. However, not everybody has a lot of money. Most people are struggling out there. That extra 20 cents, they go up. Maybe if somebody says, oh, I know what, I'm not even going to have a monster today. I'm going to have this other brand that's cheaper or just not get anything in general. So that's always a possibility. So needless to say, that's the bold, you know, debate versus the bear debate. Um, now, what would I end up putting the money in if I decide to sell out here, uh, get the $10,000? Like, what would I end up probably putting that in? I would probably end up putting it in two different stocks, okay? The first stock I would probably put it in, I'd probably put half the money in Toll Brothers, which is a company I already have, like a lower cost basis on that position. I think that company is very undervalued right now, uh, great home builder, so I'd put probably half the money there. The other half of the money I would probably put in FedEx shares, which basically I've been wanting to build a bigger stake in FedEx, um, so I could put the other half of money in FedEx. I own uh, some shares of FedEx right now, but it's a very, very small position. It's a four-figure position right now. I would like to get that in to a five-figure position. So maybe I would split the money half and half and kind of build those positions bigger. Um, that's kind of what I'm contemplating right now. I would love to hear from you guys like what, what your opinion is on this. Do you think I should just hold Monster, keep the gains going? Do you think I should sell? Do you think I should buy those stocks I talked about? Do you think I should buy a different stock? I would love to hear from you guys. Once again, my public account that is available in my stock market membership group, it is half off right now. First link down there in the description. Use code half off at checkout to literally receive half off this month and every month moving forward. I would love to see you guys in there. I'd love to chat with you in there. That would be phenomenal. Thank you for watching and have a great day.